Hello everybody, welcome back with another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Weirdly enough, I think something magical is going to happen this episode, but I do not know. Let's tune in and find out together. I do not know what's going to happen, but I have a feeling something is going to happen. Now, via if that's true or not, I am recording just to find out. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Wild, it is 7.56 p.m. on Saturday, February 26, 2022. Now, today I have a very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician K.K. Slider is here visiting Wild. Not only that, but Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on this island. Stand by to direct feed from concert venue. I hope you will all enjoy the show. Now, the only reason why I wanted to record this before I basically started because I knew I had a grind uh, was um, because they mentioned last episode KK Slider may be here. But here we go. Hey, Wild, it's a real groovy being here today. Feels like a dream I once had when I just started off of, uh, just as a scruffy puff with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wandering whenever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together and see a stray like me. Sorry about that, I do run on. Time to get my fingers snapping. Right on. This one goes off, goes out to all the cool cats on Wild. I call it Welcome Horizon. Oh. Oh, is he actually really gonna play or no? Oh my God, he is. It's actually really cool. I will be staying quiet while you listen, so please do enjoy. Wait a minute, the game's over. What the frig? Oh my god. Okay, I did not expect that. I am extremely confused. Because I don't really want the game to be over. Plus, I feel really bad for Angus, really. But... I hope the game's not over. Because if that's true, there's still so much left to do. And will I had no idea once KK Slider came, the game, the credits would roll. Everybody seems to be enjoying it, except really Tom Nook. Or is this really like... And Rhonda just gets like a free ride, by the way. She comes and then all of a sudden, boom, concert. Um, so one of my main questions is, oh, I did say I was going to be quiet. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, I'm so sorry. So please do enjoy while I mute the mic and you enjoy. All right, well, that was a scene. Thank you very all much for letting me play. So, I had no idea that the credits would roll. Now, okay, what's up, Tom Nook? Hello, Joe Wild. Did you enjoy the KK concert? 
wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we would get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I have his song, Welcome Horizons, for you. Oh, why, thank you. To listen to it, you'll need an item that can play music, and I do hope you enjoy it. Oh, and I have big news, too. KK apparently is fond of the island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Wild has once a deserted island, but now we could host important concerts. I'm so thankful for everyone and everyone else on the island. I guess my gateway package idea is a success. I hope Wild remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time to come. With your help, it would. Speaking of which, I developed a new app that should help you make an island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. So I will I will rant uh, just after this. Ooh. Island Designer. The app I just can is Island Designer. It's a special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in a bold island development. At first, you'll only have permission to create paths, but you could use your miles to access more options like different kinds of paths and permits for changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get the taste of island design, I think you'll want more. I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Yes, yes, Wild has come a long way. I think I'll leave more and more the future development of this island in the hands of its residents. I'm glad we had this talk. On behalf of Nook Inc., I'm excited about the uh, continued partnership and your wild plans. Okay, so... Neat. Wow. Well, now KK has performed, it's time to focus on making the island life better and better. That means living each day to day to the fullest, doing things I like, and having lots of fun. So... That brings me to my first problem. It is the um, is the game is the series over Gullivar um I don't really know now with that being said I I don't want it to be I'll basically put it like that I don't think it will be which is very nice the app helps you develop a shape the island through construction project that you direct. You can redeem Nook Miles at the Nook Shop and additional construction options and new paths varies. There is also a cleanup service in case you're doing construction work and find yourself self due to items stuck around you. For more information on what this cleanup service involves, the other app features, please check out the manual within the app. So go ahead, try your hands at the app and shape your island. Um, absolutely. Start construction. Gathering permits to construct. Island designer is ready. Oh my goodness. So... So is this basically... Yeah, this is basically... Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, this is... No. Okay, yeah, so that's... That is a whole different mode that we will touch base on later. Am I done building for now? Yes, I am. But yeah, um, we will touch base on that next episode. Which is pretty insane that they give you such a good... Like, they, they literally give you so much free range at the end of the game, which is honestly a little bit insane. But it's nice. It really is. But now that we have a spot, I, I don't know how to feel here. Because <laughs> now we're opened up to so much more in-game that are we stuck here like there's so much more things to do now 
which is a little bit odd if if you think about that like so kk slider coming that was the first goal now that we've done that the only way to improve the island is to focus on the residents so that makes me feel like maybe i focused i wouldn't say too much on myself here but there is just so much left to explore now like what if what if i had to do that first instead of like um you know finding all the fish or something like something simple like that and that that piques my interest in so many ways because now there is so much stuff to do which is a little bit bizarre um i had as as i've said i had no idea that would play the credits and it's such an amazing part of the game and i think it, i think it's at a fair amount truly because i don't really want all these cliffs and everything and i'm really hoping sooner than later i could get my other residents and the biggest request that i have gotten with the series is to play at a later time which is very interesting because a lot a lot of people have been telling me uh new animals come out at night which completely makes sense shooting stars and i think that's what i'm going to end up doing soon um and i'm okay with that as long as people are are cool as well because it's either i come i play this super early and i get a lot of streaming out of the uh, or recording out of the way and now that stuff happens at night because that's when i really grinded um which is fine but now it just gives me a better reason to be like, okay, you know, what if something major I'm missing at night now? Which is completely cool. Um, I sort of want to give my review on this game, sort of, because I'm definitely not done playing it. Um, I think it was such a bizarre experience for me simply because i never thought in a million years i'd like a game like this that's basically free roam by the way the lights the light bulbs work perfectly um so many neat tricks and so many characters that truly you sort of fall in love with which is really neat um and i just find it so bizarre for me personally oh my god that is a giant beetle that I probably already have. Is that a stag? Yeah. Yeah, that's terrifying. Uh, but it, it's so nice. It, it is, it, this, every time, every time I did a recording session for any game, I probably did this game first, if not last, because it was such a pla uh, uh, palette cleanser. It was such a fun game to do, and as the title suggests, like, this is more of an adventure for me. Like, it it is so soothing every day just to check up on how the villagers are doing, how the island can improve, and everything in between, which is extremely, extremely nice and satisfactory. And to see really who moves in next, it's it's quite interesting. And I'm tired from just how busy as if I could already Now, did I turn off the stove before I left home that I'm assuming I have a stove? Pretty sure I got home at least. Um, ooh, there's the message from the bottle. And so many things that the community has helped me with. You know, never ever playing an Animal Crossing before and oops doy. and just so many things in between 
and I truly couldn't have thanked you all enough, if I'm gonna be honest with you. So thank you. Um, I, I don't know how I could give this game a rating, because it was so out of my comfort zone that I'm just happier than I could ever be. Uh, doing impressions, doing voices, and just having so much fun with it. That is Golden Gears, and I guarantee you, that's going to be hard to build. But, you know, I hope, hopefully now that I have the last app on this phone, um, if not, it's, it's the stuff that I need to buy in the Nook Shop. It, it blows my mind. I think what I have to probably review is, for me, if you want a nice, relaxing game, especially for introverts, this is probably your go-to game, which is extremely nice. And seeing how everybody reacts, and, you know, we're getting to that point where we we are sort of getting new people in the island it's never boring it's never boring on this island whatsoever which is extremely nice and to to really um Huh, you know your sportswear. That's what most folks would say, but, well, for me, breathable is just a secondary thing, buddy. What I want in a shirt is fabric. I spent... Okay, cool. Uh, we gotta respect... We gotta protect Roland at all cost. And... I... I... I just gotta say, I, I love this adventure. I truly do. I truly do. And on the next episode, probably what I'm really going to dive right into is exploring the new apps, changing the island, and taking it from there. Um, and now I feel like this is sort of the part of the game, I want to say, that this is where you sort of focus on your house. So in future endeavors, I still don't understand, or if I will, um, show grinding. I don't, because I feel like if I do, um, I feel like if I show grinding at least one or two episodes, it's going to show, maybe you guys could give me ideas as well, which is extremely nice. But as we wrap this up, I just got to say thank you all for watching the series. I believe we're like 45 episodes in, or 35. I've, I've lost count because I've been having so much fun. What I'm probably going to do in future endeavors is probably show grinding. Um, this may be the last time I don't before um before i do it so i'll probably get as many bells as i possibly can i don't want to go to another island just in case jesus christ uh something fell but um i am going to do as much as i can i don't know what fell i'll have to deal with that later but everything is going to go good. Everything is going to go good. But uh, I can't wait for another adventure like this. And thrills and scares. <laughs> I don't know what fell. But um, I really do hope everybody enjoyed. You thought I would cut that out? No, I'm not going to cut that out. But... Uh, I would probably have to say Tom Nook, in my mind, was a lot less deviant than I thought. Blathers has been the unsung hero that I never thought I wanted. 
And Timmy and Tommy are adorable. Isabel, I hope, stays forever. And I love the customization that I could fully have. Uh, Tutu. Tutu, I think I overhyped because she is getting on my nerves where she I feel like she's avoiding me. Uh, Jacquez obviously is not he's still here on my island for several reasons. I don't know. I just didn't like the design. Rhonda, we have not seen anything about. Uh, Gwen, I still think is Roland's mother or lover. And... Okay, I have no opinion about Hugh. Hugh is like the wild card because some days I like him, some days yeah, I'm just like gross bugs. But, and then Marcy is probably the unsung, not the unsung hero, but the unsung villager that I least talk about. I want that demon portal. That demon portal is so cool. But I, I really did enjoy the series and I hope you did as well. And in the upcoming episodes, I hope you could tell me what I can improve on. And everything. What would you like to see? Would you like to see guest stars on here? Uh, people from the community who also have um, uh, Animal Crossing. And let me know if you want me to visit your island or vice versa. What is this? First off, is this going to be like the, the last purchase of the first series? A throwback gothic mirror. Bet I'm going to buy that for eight, 1,800 bills. But I will be doing uh, nighttime episodes more because people have requested it. And that is going to be it. Tomorrow, Daisy May is coming. So, except on Sundays, I will be doing morning episodes. But that is going to be it. Uh, oh, and Gladdy. I forgot about Gladdy. Gladdy, you're probably at the bottom as well, because I don't know you as much. I love your design, but I I don't like how you call me Stretch. But yeah, Gladdy, Glads, and Rhonda are the two people I know nothing about. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope this game is not over, and it still has very, very many surprises. But this has been Joe Wild Plays. If you like what you saw and heard, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Take care, and I'll see you soon. And here's to a wonderful new series. I hope you're happy, because you made me happy. Here's basically part two of the Animal Crossing journey. Bye-bye.